Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, those tuning in through iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, we're glad you all could be with us as well. You know, this time of year, a lot of you guys are looking for those side gigs that can be profitable for you to bring in some extra money. There are lots that are out there. Some are more competitive than others. However, an easily accessible side hustle that has yet to reach its full potential is domain investing. Now, if you guys have not heard about it before, of course, we all know about domain names, but it's really these days it's more than a web address. It really can be a valuable asset, especially, of course, if you're able to get one that people may need, and it's something that you can be able to use not only to be able to have for yourself, but also to sell down the line. Our next guest knows this very well. We're excited to welcome James Alves to our broadcast. James is a global domain investment community manager at GoDaddy. Believe it or not, he started flipping domains as a teenager. He's now going to talk to us not only about how you guys can find out more information about it, but also about the trends to look out for as well. James, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate it. No worries. Happy to be here. So, James, this is an, an interesting topic. I have to say, in, in my line of work, outside of what I do on the radio side, I'm also an artist and author and do other things. Domains are <laughs> something I definitely have, have been my friend over the years. Uh, this is something that you know very well. Talk to us about what inspired you to start flipping domain names. Well, what inspired me was the fact that I wanted to earn some extra money. So I had a day job. Um, I, I was in the creative industry as well. Um, but I just wanted some supplemental income alongside that. And so I was researching some side hustles one day and just came across domain names and saw that they could potentially be sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I started to research why. And I found the whole industry behind buying and selling domains. So that's kind of how I got started with it. Um, it's a long time ago when I was 18. Yeah, yeah. And can you kind of talk to us about some of your earliest successes when it came to domain investing? Well, one of my best domain names, one of the domain names that I loved to own in the past was staycool.com, which I owned uh, for uh, several months. I was proactively working to sell this domain name. Um, Ultimately, I sold it to Jockey, the underwear brand. Um, I got a $7,000 profit from it, which I was able to reinvest and it helped me along the way to to develop a like a, a more sustainable portfolio. But I don't think the success stories necessarily show the research and the hard work that goes into this. Um, there's definitely there's definitely a lot of work behind the scenes that goes on to to um, producing these success stories. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about that a bit then, James, if you don't mind. Where and how does someone start domain investing? So and basically anyone with an internet connection and small startup capital can become a domain investor. It's a really low barrier of entry, but I definitely would recommend getting a good foundational knowledge of buying domain names, selling domain names, and most importantly, valuing them. So a great place to go is GoDaddy's Domain Academy. It has a structured course um, where, as I mentioned, buying, selling, and valuing domain names is covered in depth. There's some great interactive content and quizzes, and there's a forum to connect with people. But aside from that, um, there's some other great resources around. There's blogs, there's forums, and there's a really there's a really active community on Twitter. If anyone's just interested in finding out a little bit more about domain names without stepping too far into the fold. How do you suggest them when it comes to beginners, James, find interesting domain names like you did to invest in, and what advice would you give them on what they should avoid? In terms of finding domains, every investor is slightly different, um, but there's there's some great places around to start purchasing domains. So go down the auctions is one of them where you can look at domain names on the aftermarket, the secondary market, uh, for lower prices where you could potentially resell them higher, but I'll caveat that with the fact that a good foundational knowledge is is pretty important there. But in terms of pitfalls, I think don't go over your budget. I think that's a really important one. So if you have a smaller startup capital, keep that in mind. 
because you could potentially be holding these domain names for years to come until they ultimately sell. And also making sure that you continue to educate yourself in the domain investment world. Like my education has never stopped. I constantly am, am learning new things and I, I completely love it. But making sure that you're looking at blogs and sales data that's available and understanding what sells and connecting with domain investors, those are things that I think that you should definitely consider. Um, but you know, a lot of people starting out miss those things. So it's, it's definitely important to consider those. Yeah. You mentioned earlier about research, James. Uh, are there any tools or techniques you recommend for um, domain evaluation or at least to be able to see you know, what the potential value of a domain name may be? So there's great resources available where you can find the web. Basically, there's a database of, of domain names that have sold in the past. It's um, called Name Bio. And that gives you regular updates and helps you to keep your finger on the pulse of, of what's selling and maybe why it's selling and maybe who it, who it's selling to. Um, aside from that, Domain Academy has, as I said, a focus section on valuation and there's a great valuation worksheet in there that is the most comprehensive that I've ever seen, really. So I think that those those things will start you in a good place. But just understanding and finding out a little bit more about domain names and understanding what sells is the great step to take as a as a first step. Love that. A lot of great information as our audiences are thinking about domain investing as a as a side gig to be able to get into, James. We're so glad to have you here. Um, last thing I want to talk to you about uh, when it comes to you know this topic and people looking at this as a side hustle, can you share any future predictions because you've been doing this for so long or trends you may foresee in the domain investing space? I think in terms of future predictions, we can never really truly predict what's going to happen, um, but it's great to stay on top of what's going on in the world. And in terms of the internet, we've, as long as we have the internet, we'll have domain names. And as long as we have domain names, we'll have people buying and selling them on the secondary market. And so, you know, people have, people have, have uh, taken advantage of trends like AI and crypto and things like that, and being able to, to um, build portfolios at great rates. Um, but, you know, building sustainable long-term investments is also very, very important to do, and that's that's something to consider for long-term success in domain investing. Great information for our audience. Again, everyone, James Owls has been our guest, Global Domain Investing Community Manager at GoDaddy, not only sharing his expert insights, but also, of course, his personal experience as well. James, where can our audience go for more information? So if you're interested in domaining, then go to domainacademy.com, or please connect with me on Twitter. I'm at James I-L-E-S. Um, I'm happy to take any questions or hey, yeah, just chat to anyone that's interested in doing domain investing as a side hustle. All right. James, again, congratulations on your success. I really appreciate the time today and looking forward to speaking with you again. No worries. Thank you very much. Hey, more than welcome. We thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.